What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe down below. Turn on the post notifications, that way you get notified every time I post a new video. So I'm right here with my little dolly. She's kicking it. And today is wig wash day. And if you are like me where you wear pelucas a lot, um, you know, there's a lot of grime in there. And sometimes you use hairspray, you use some products in your hair or on your wig. And then they get a little bit crusty musty. You're strong? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, they get, they be getting, you know, pretty crusty. And... Today I'm going to show you how to wash and dry and style a straight synthetic wig. Okay, because I do use synthetic wigs most of the time. One, because I don't go anywhere, and two, because, uh, hello, synthetic wigs are what you gotta get if you can't be dropping, like, 300 plus dollars on a human wig. So, yeah, um, I know that this one has a lot of shine, so... But this is what we're wearing today. What are you doing, Dolly? Nothing. She's over here standing on the turtle box. And she is writing on my bills. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I got the girls doing some drawing right here. And this is what you're going to be needing. You basically need a type of detergent pod. You can use any brand just as long as it's for synthetic fibers. And then you're going to be using a softener. I just grabbed this one. And you're going to be using a bucket. And a busted ass wig. Alright, so I'm reporting now from the restroom. So you're going to fill your bucket up with some medium to cold water. It is very important for you not to use hot or warm water because the wig is synthetic and it's a very light plastic, if you will, and it's going to make it kind of be more melty or stringy trust me i made the mistake already so don't do that all right so the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and take your pod and you're gonna cut it with some scissors now i'm sure you can allow it to dissolve in there but you know we're trying to run things along faster just make sure you get all of the detergent out and go ahead and give it a little mix mix it up because just like in the washer machine you know you gotta mix the water around so you can and dissolve the products mmm that smells so good already you got it all nice and sudsy so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our softener and I don't think you should use too much of this because you don't want it to be kind of like over conditioned sorry guys I am literally making a mess trying to film this you'll feel it in the water kind of like when you touch the water like that you will definitely feel that it feels like it's a like a very light cleaning solution is what I'm gonna say so now you got your detergent you got your basically your conditioner and it's in the bowl and it's ready to go Next, you're gonna take your dusty ass wig, and this is Mia Wallace. This is the little mist that I wear the most. Now go ahead and dip her in there. Now, the main thing is that you don't want to be batiendole or how do you say, wishing it around too much, because you're gonna make the wig very tangled, you're gonna make it matted, and obviously, we don't want that. So you're gonna kind of softly kind of run it through. And I like to go in a circle, kind of like a, a washing machine. And just softly run your fingers through and kind of allow the water, the surfactant, if we're being scientific here, let it run through and you'll feel it. You'll kind of feel it coming out. So just make sure that you, you do run your fingers or like kind of, you know, touch it so that the water and everything is penetrating in through all the fibers see it's a little bit on the soapy side okay but that's okay because we want it to be real clean 
And then I'm going to take my, <laughs> my other favorite wig, which is a more natural one, but this one has a side bang cut. And I'm going to go ahead and stick that in there too. Now, like I said, this solution is very light wash, but it's also very penetrating for a synthetic fiber such as this. So just make sure that you get in between all of those little fibers with your fingertips, but don't go too crazy because you know what happens when you go too crazy, you're gonna get it all matted up and it's gonna be a damn mission to untangle later. The last thing we want, but I'm very excited. It's kind of like that feeling when you're washing all your clothes and all your fire outfits and you're like excited because you get to wear them again. Because <laughs> these were looking so bad. These are the two that I wear the most. See, and you can see right away when you lift it out of the water, I can see that, yeah, it is kind of wet, but in there, look at this right here, it's still pretty dry. So you just want to make sure that you're getting all that stuff in there. So now you're going to go ahead and let your busted wigs sit there for a good 20, 20 to 30 minutes. They don't have to be there too long. But you want it to soak, you want it to be nice and penetrated. And if you haven't already, please give me a big thumbs up. Let me know if you guys want to know any more little hair hacks. I have been a cosmetologist for 10 years, so I know a lot and I've experienced a lot. So don't be afraid to ask. Dude, Danny just walked in here <laughs> and he called me Ariel. Ariolas! <laughs> You are so horrible. Mom, what happened, Iris? You do it. You do you check every year because you have wet hair. Ooh, do you like it or does it look a little bit weird? Um, I like it. You like it? And you need to swim on the ocean. Like Can you just swim in the ocean? Yeah, you What need... do you think, Dolly? <coughs> Dolly got into the donut box? What? And what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, guys, so it's been about 20 minutes or so. And basically, now what you're going to do is you're going to see that there is definitely soap in between your fibers. So you're just going to go through it and kind of go along with the pattern or shape of the hair. So we're just going to go ahead and wring it out little by little, little by little. Okay and maybe give it one more dunk and then kind of wring it out okay and we're gonna go for our home girl it's at the bottom of the tub and we're gonna pull her out and we're gonna do the same thing and you will no longer need this so go ahead and dispose of that and iris wanted to help me so what are we doing iris i'm dumping the pull it up Go baby, lift it, lift it, lift it. Whoa! Good job to my assistant Iris. We're going to go ahead and start rinsing our wigs that are not so dusty anymore. What you just want to make sure is that you're really rinsing them really, really well. Just make sure that no bubbles are coming out anymore and it doesn't look like it has any soap in it. All right, so we ran it through. Now the wig looks like it no longer has any soap in it. All right, so I'm trying to do this in the restroom. The girls are, you know, starting to do sister things like fight. So they're gonna help me and, oh yeah, and I don't have a doll stand or a doll head because I just don't. So what I'm gonna do is I got a little bit creative and I got these old lamps. And we're gonna put a bag on top of them and then we're just gonna go ahead and hang the wigs on them. For me give me five give me five yay yay all right so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our wigs which are wrapped in a towel now right now I know 
I know right now you want to run a brush through this and start detangling, but that is not the answer, my friend. You actually need to let it dry 100% before you start running a brush through it because right now it is wet, it is, you know, doing its own thing and you are gonna mat it. So just take your towel and kind of dry it through, okay? And Dolly and Iris, you guys are going to put the wig on your wig stand, okay? So go ahead and see it's open right here. Just open it up like that and put it on the, right here. Put it right here for mommy. Oh, right, oh. <gasps> wow, it, thank it, you. It, it also looks like a human with a half hair. It looks like a human? Yeah. Is she pretty? <laughs> All right. I made a human, guys. Oh my God, it smells so good. And yeah, so this is my little ghetto wig stand. That's what it's looking like right now. Look and we're gonna go ahead and leave that in front of the opened window. All right, now Dahlia, let me get the cameras. All right, Dali. So first we gotta open up your wig, Dali. Let's see. Let's open it right here. There you go. There you go. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, put it on. All right, good job, Dali. Good job, Dali. Once again, I know you're looking at this right now and you're like, what is that? But don't worry, it's gonna look totally different tomorrow. Just make sure you do separate it, you know, and kind of give it its little Mom, can I kind of put pictures on it for Koyo Play Uh, Maybe tomorrow we'll do that. Okay. All right, so my two homegirls are going to sit here for, I'm going to say a full day because I do want them to be completely dry before I try to style them. But yeah, they're going to sit there for a good minute and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right, so it is now the next day and they are nice and dry. Remember, synthetic hair dries super fast. It's not like human hair. And they're looking great. And the most looks like human too. Mm-hmm. They're looking pretty great, let me tell you. I'm gonna go ahead and style for you today and then you guys are gonna get to see the outcome. All right, so now we got Dolly. She's gonna help me do a little bit of brushing. Good job, Dolly. Ah! <laughs> Don't pull it so much. Mama, it's kinda hot. Can I take off my shoes? Yeah, you're doing great, you're leaving. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, so it is obviously the next day. I got a new look going today, and we are about to comb out our wig. But first, a little OOTD moment. All right, and my future hairdresser is right here to tell you all she knows. Go ahead, tell them. I need Taekwondo. And I then I have a chain bond coat by myself. Wow, that's amazing. And I know how to reach a waddle. Mm -hmm. I know how to do exercise. <gasps> Give me some knuckles. <laughs> now your turn. All right, okay. Yeah. So the first thing you will be needing is a plastic wide tooth comb. And you're gonna see how those teeth are very far apart. Oh. And the next thing you will be needing is a nylon multi-length bristle brush, okay? If you look real closely, it has different lengths of bristles, and this thing is magic, let me tell you. And, of course, the star of the show, this is number three, Maintain, and it is a HD smooth detangler for synthetic fibers. Please keep that in mind. It is a synthetic wig, so you wanna be using products that are made for synthetic fibers. Just like we use the uh, detergent and just like we used the softener. This is my Miss Mia Wallace. She doesn't have a lot of tangle to her. What I'm gonna do is just kind of do a very simple style. I mean, it's already styled, like as far as how it's, the texture and the movement of the hair. But look how beautiful it looks. It looks nice and beautiful and very natural. I know that we're right under the light, so it is a bit shiny, but it is 
very natural looking this one it doesn't have like I said it doesn't have a lot of tangle down here or anything so all I'm going to do is give it a quick little spray with some of this number three detangler and I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my nylon bristle brush and just kind of you know brush it through And I'm going to give her a go so you guys can see what she looks like. And here she is looking all nice and clean and glamorous. Honestly, I think this look goes really well with me. I actually rocked a bob for many, many years while I was destroying my hair. But that's a story for another day. Let me just tell you that, oh my gosh. I love a clean wig and it smells so good and it feels so nice. I definitely recommend that you try this cleaning method because you will not regret it. And the best part about it is there is no damage to the hair. If anything, the hair has restored its shine and it looks so much better and it feels so much better. And you should definitely be doing this at least once a month. Okay, so I really want to show you how matted it is here at the bottom. As you can see, there's lots of tangles in there. But don't worry, we're going to have this bitch looking brand new in just a couple of seconds. So this is where I kind of got to bust some gymnastics so I can show you. But I'm going to basically just spray the area that needs to be detangled. And I'm just going to go in with my nylon comb. And look at how nice. It's already taking up so much tangle. And once again on the outside. You don't need too much of it because I tend to spray that on like every time I go out. But you don't, you really don't need to. It's just to kind of flatten out all the flyaways and it doesn't leave the hair like sticky or heavy in any way or hard. It's just kind of, like I said, to kind of give it a better appearance. All right, guys, so I could actually not find a white background and I really wanted you to see how I do this. So we are going to resort to the frozen blanket. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and lay your wig out. And then you're going to go ahead and take your wide tooth comb and starting from the bottom, you're just going to lightly start to go through it. And I'm going to make my way up. And look at that. Look at this. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Can you see that? It was so matted. Just with the detangling spray and a little bit of the wide tooth comb, I pretty much got about 85% of the matting out. All right guys, so once you have already detangled and taken out all the matting of your hair, I just like to go around it once again with my nylon brush just to smooth the outside, make sure you get any flyaways or frizz. This one is a bit longer and it has a side part. So I'm still going to try this one on for you just because it's a different look and I want you to also see the difference in something that's a little bit more shiny and something that's a little bit less shiny. Alright, so then I'm going to go ahead and slip this wig on. This one has... Like a side part. Yeah. There we go. So you just go in with your nylon brush, get all your tangles out. This wig, let me tell you, looks so natural that I honestly believe that I don't even think you can tell that this is a wig unless I were to tell you it was wig because it's pretty natural looking and this one doesn't have much shine at all. Even though it looks like it has shine in the camera, it really doesn't have much shine. But that's what she looks like. 
So let me go ahead and get a thumbnail. And that is it for today, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you want to see some more cosmetology hair tips. And until then, smile now and cry never. Bye-bye.